Another game in which four goals are scored. This time it's two for each side as NGIT gets a result against Big East foe St. John's. I'm Adam Dobrovolsky, head by head coach, or joined by head coach Allie Nick and coach obviously to get a result against the Big East team. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless, the Big East team that made the Sweet 16 last year is a great thing. Your thoughts overall, though, on how the game went in the 90 minutes? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we have to give respect to them. They're a great program. They have really dangerous players. Um, so I thought our team performed really well. Really proud of getting the result. Obviously, left some points on the field because could we have kind of held on a little bit more. Um, but overall, really proud. I mean, that's a result and taking the program further, probably one of the best results that we've had. I think if someone wants to look at the stat sheet with the shots, it's going to be a different story mm -hmm. than what we actually saw on the pitch. You did yeah. give up more shots, but you kind of forced them to take more shots from distance. Was that part of the game plan defensively, just keep the ball in front of you? Absolutely. We wanted to definitely change their game plan, um, and I thought we did a really good job of that. We took them out of their game plan and frustrated them a little bit where they had to go long because they're definitely a more possession-based, want the ball at their feet type of style. So I thought the girls did a very good job at that. Um, yeah, and I agree. I think the shot count didn't really result in that because we definitely got down their end a lot of times. I just don't think we got those chances off, and, and that's what resulted in the box score. Well, while it might have been limited opportunities in the final third in terms of shots, the two shots you did get on one goal both went in the net. Your thoughts on, on Kelsey just being able to create that ball over the top from Ariana. She's a freshman. It's her second game, but to make that quality play against mm -hmm. the biggest opponent this early in his career has got to be good. Absolutely. I mean, Ari played an excellent ball over the top um, into the space that we talked about that was going to be on. And Kelsey definitely maneuvered her body well in position. And she made it look easy. That's a difficult shot of getting that positioning on the defender. But she does a great job. And her knack for just around the box, we have to get her in those areas more right now. Well, Ariana then ends up scoring a goal after assisting the first one. And Alicia DeSchmuck, that's now her second assist mm -hmm. in as many games, both on set pieces. She comes off the bench, provides another opportunity on those set pieces. How important is it so far these first two games, not just her, but the rest of the team providing depth? Yeah, absolutely. Alicia has had great training at week, and that's what we stress. I mean, just because starting, that doesn't mean the end-all be-all for us. Um, and Alicia has brought that. She's changed the game when she has gone in. So I think that's really important even for the other players to keep recognizing that because we are units. You know, we train and get the success as a team. But, I mean, Ariana Caminos, I can't speak how well she played today. Even defensively, she was solid back there. And then obviously getting the assist and then the goal, she definitely wanted it. Um, and that's what you want out of your seniors, right, is stepping up and taking that next step. So that's what she proved today and showed. Well, obviously, one week in the books now. Up next, another Big East opponent Thursday against Seton Hall. That begins the next three games on your road. What's mm -hmm. going to be the approach on here forward, that first game on the road and starting to get into the rhythm week two and into week three of the season? Yeah, as we get in, obviously teams can kind of scout a little bit more so they have a better idea of what they're going to face going into week two. So as we're on the road, we just have to be consistent. But I think we still have to bring the energy that we brought. Um, we have to play at this level now. We know we can do it. So it's being consistent and playing at that at all times. Um, and that's what, like I said, we're going to challenge them this week because the great teams are the ones that can do it any day. Um, and they can figure it out in different circumstances. So being on the road, we're going to see what this team's made of. Coach, thank you for your time. Thank you. And again, for NJIT, they go on the road Thursday, 4 p.m. kickoff against Seton Hall. The first of three consecutive games on the road, but they'll be back home here in two weeks' time here at Lebeck Field against the Lafayette Leopards September 4th at noon. Until then, for the Highlander Sports Network, I'm Adam Dobrovolsky.